And that's great. And I, I think that when you're talking about algorithms, there's a, a great question from the audience about how advances in AI, advances in, in new algorithms can help kind of drive uh, more personalized results. And uh, Isabel, I want to know if that, are you using, I know you're using lab results, things like that. And uh, are, are you using a lot of AI right now? Or, or should I pivot over? There's another question from the audience that says, is personalization a buzzword? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to you combine take, the two. You want to combine the two. Let's do it. Let's do it. But I think it's real. It's here. Machine learning works, right? Mm -hmm. And the better that we get at every service that we provide to our members, the better the outcomes in terms of their health. But you do have to be careful about how loaded the term personalization is for people. Mm -hmm. And because personalization evolved as this consumer term, right? It literally meant like my initials are monogrammed on my suitcase. Um, <laughs> I think there are really different consumer expectations for it in healthcare. Mm -hmm. And I think healthcare has always been personalized. Yeah. Healthcare has always been about your health results and a doctor reviewing them one-to-one -one with you. And so what all of us are doing is scaling that and giving you context for where you fall and so you don't get your lab results and sit there alone thinking, is this a problem or not? I'm freaking out. Um, and I think that's what's next with personalization. And, and I, I do think it's a buzzword. <laughs> but I think the more that you can use AI machine learning to understand and to feed the right data points back to the right people at the right time, that's what the next generation of personalization looks like to me. Great. And uh, actually, there's an interesting question coming from the audience. And Harpreet, I'm going to let you start with